well, let's actually just, because we do have your transcripts here, let's just go through them, make sure we have everything. So, um, right here, looks like we have University of Colorado BA in Political Science. Check. University of Colorado Paralegal Certification Program. Paralegal Certificate, Civil Litigation. Check. Criminal History Check Authorization Form. Check. You're not a criminal, right? Absolutely not. Okay. And uh, Conflict Check Paperwork. Conflict Check Paperwork. Did you complete the Conflict Check Paperwork? Yes, I'm sure I did. Hmm. I think. I think I did. Yeah, it should have been in your offer package last week, but I'm not seeing it here. I don't know. I feel like everything I received and sent it back the next day, so. All right, well, it is possible that my assistant is still finishing up the report, so um, I'll go check with my secretary and see if she has it. But in the meantime, I'll give you this, and you can just check, 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 sign, initial, check, check, checkity, check. Check. Can you handle that? Check. There you go. As the head of HR here at Teasdale, one of my jobs is to make sure that all of our new employees fill out the same paperwork. It's important that we have their full and accurate information. Any misrepresentation of that information could be grounds for termination. Found the report. Yeah, I knew I'd send it back to you. It's not a problem. And actually, it looks as if we are all good here. No conflicts or problems with any of our clients. So, excellent. Follow that. Check. Okay, so it looks like that we have everything that we need. I'm going to give you this. This is your security card, which will get you access to the elevator to the 20th floor. That's where your new office will be. Um, I have you scheduled to start Monday at 8.30. You can meet me here, and I'll get you everything that you need, show you where you need to go. Mm -hmm. um, you'll be computer training from about 9 o'clock till noon, and after that you have meetings with the litigation team in the afternoon. They don't really waste time around here, so just be prepared to jump right into the mix, and they'll be expecting you. Okay, well, thank you, Josh. Right. I'm so excited for this opportunity, and I will see you first thing Monday morning. Excellent. Well, we are excited to have you on the Teasdale team. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah. So let's go. What? What? Uh, I think we're on the eyes. Yes, we are. Uh, let's check. Okay. How about this one? How about Integra? Is that one of the jobs on the list? Oh uh, no. But there is one called Intuit. So keep an eye out for that one. Okay. Boy, I wonder who comes up with these names. I know. Most of them don't even make any sense. So you settling it all right? This place doesn't give you much time to adjust before the work pours in. Yeah, it's moving fast, but I'm happy to be part of such a great firm. You know, I'm one of the only ones in my class to find a job so quickly. Hmm. Well, you're right about the moving fast part, that's for sure. Teasdale takes a sink or swim approach to all of its employees, but it looks like you're swimming already. Yeah, but it's a little weird to me that no one discussed the actual case in the meeting yesterday, just the document review project. I know. I thought the same thing when I uh, joined the firm a couple of years ago. The litigation department is so big. Mm -hmm. Often you'll just work on a small piece of a case and not know anything about the underlying action. But I've been working on this case full time, so I'll fill you in on the details. Okay, great. It really helps to know why we're going over all these documents. Well, our client's name is Curate. They're being sued by a smaller pharmaceutical research company called Jones Medical. Jones claims that uh, Curate is infringing on one of their most popular, commercially successful drugs, which treats high cholesterol. Okay, what's the name of the drug? Jones's product is called Arteriol, and our client is manufacturing and selling Lupid, which is also doing very well on the market. Okay, Lupid? Yeah, Lupid, why, what's wrong? But you just said that the manufacturer is a company called Curit. Yes. I just remembered when you were explaining the case to me that I worked on a file during my internship at the University of Colorado's legal clinic dealing with the drug lupid. But I don't remember the manufacturer being a company called Curit. I, 
I've never even heard of Curate well, before. Well, Curate is just the division name for the cholesterol meds. The division is owned by Big Pharma. Big Pharma and Lupid? <sighs> yep. That's what I worked on at Legal Aid. One of the employees at Big Pharma had been fired. <sighs> A retaliatory termination claim, but she couldn't afford an attorney. So what does it have to do with Lupid? This gal worked in research and testing and found out there were problems with Lupid. When she took her concerns to management, they conveniently fired her and buried the negative reports. Okay, so now what exactly is the problem? I only worked on the case at Legal Aid for a month, and I was only an intern, but I forgot to mention that case when I filled out my conflict check. So Teasdale doesn't know that you've worked uh -huh. on a case that could be adverse to one of our clients? What am I gonna do? This is only my second day on the job and I've already screwed up! Well, maybe you should just let Josh know that you forgot. There might not even be a conflict. After all, you were only an intern. Julie's right. I was only an intern and it was over a year ago. I didn't even know the big problem was related to our client, Curate. But if there is a problem, what do you think the phone will do? I don't want to lose my job. Who are you talking to?